Hi there, everybody. It's Mary Kirby with Flight Global, and I am on an RJ70 that has been completely decked out um, interior-wise by premier UK design firm Design Q. And I'm here talking to a co-founder of Design Q, Gary Joy. Okay, Gary, so let's talk about this aircraft a little bit. It, it's, it looks fabulous. Great, Why, thank you. What's this aircraft all about? Well, it's, it's all about having uh, a wide-bodied aircraft. It's good value for money because they're not that expensive in the marketplace. And having something which is, is a sort of a neutral but big statement. So everything in this aircraft um, is, is quite neutral in its finish, but the details are really well executed. And it's an RJ70, so a number of these are coming out of the regional, uh, commercial regional aircraft market. That's right, right? yeah, yeah. So it's kind of a, what, an inexpensive way for a, a business uh, jet operator to uh, offer something high High luxury, low cost. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a if you, if you imagine um, if you want to get into the marketplace and you want to have something which is really luxurious, but it's wide. This is the sort of aircraft that you, you you'd want to buy. Right. Um, for roughly speaking, uh, sort of uh, ten million dollars, you get a, an aircraft and brand new interior. Okay. So in the marketplace, that's 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 quite that's quite good value. So um, we've got Bulgarian on uh, the outside of this particular aircraft. What's what's that all about? Well, the the, the Bulgarian um, this, this aircraft has, has been done for. Um, Hemos Air, um, and the owner is Bulgarian, it's, yeah. it's operated from Bulgaria, and they use it as a charter aircraft. So when, when we first started to look at this aircraft, we were talking to the owner, and the owner was looking at buying the aircraft, but he wasn't sure whether he could get a really nice interior in it. So we discussed it with the owner, looked at a few ideas and a few different layouts and designs, and I went over to his house and we looked at what he liked, and we started designing the aircraft for him. And he's got he's quite he's got really contemporary taste, very good taste. And he said, actually, Gary, the thing is, we're going to charter this aircraft, so uh, we had to change a little bit the way that we were doing the the interior. So we made it more palatable for lots of different people. So it was a, a, quite a neutral statement. So it was born out of that, really, that uh, he wanted to have an aircraft that would appeal to quite a few different people, um, that would look really good quality, high VIP. So obviously, uh, in VIP interiors are, are part of what Design Q does, but and also this week at the Dubai Air Show. You announced a very futuristic looking modular heliport. Um, can you tell us a little bit about that and the thinking behind it? Okay. Well, the, heli the heliport was actually born out of an idea for, for the Olympics because we were looking at um, a way of transferring people by helicopter to the Olympics and then to different areas of the country quite quickly. And now we've, we've, we've found a potential market for it in the Middle East. So if you imagine the heliport as almost like a space station that you could put into certain areas, and one area we're thinking about is in the new city that's being built um, near, in Abu Dhabi. Um, so you could have this space station there. The helicopter can bring the VIP to, to the area. They come out the helicopter, they go into a lift which is air conditioned, and they come down into the entrance area. They come out of that and they go into their Rolls Royce which is air conditioned. So you have helicopter air conditioned through all the way so they don't have to get out into, into Very the Very opulent. It is, yeah. yeah it's, <laughs> It's, 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 it's trying to make the travel experience absolutely seamless. Yeah. So it's, it's, a, it's a nice, easy travel experience for people. And we're also thinking about adding parts on to the space station, as it were. So you could have some, some small hotel units that are, that are built onto it. Oh, that's interesting. Well, best of luck with that. Thank you so much for talking to us. Thank you. For all the latest from Dubai, go to flightglobal.com slash Dubai.